first off, I'm glad we won the basketball game. I always think that's important. Um, our, our players were excited about some improvement that, that we had, both improvement from our Tuesday game and also improvement from the first half to the second half, especially on the defensive end. Um, I, I think we're going to continue to get better. Um, and. I think the players understand that. They understand that we're, we're working for small increments every day. But um, um, I, I, was, I was really happy for them. They were, they were pretty fired up in the locker room after the game. Questions, please? Start in the back. Who's in the Hey, Gilly, uh, right out of the gate, um, you look at Jordan Morrison and Tamari combining for the first 14 points. Uh, for, to see that from your two true freshmen, you know, what was that like to see right out of the gate for your three? Well, there's no doubt uh, those two are are really talented. I mean, and you can see the dynamic play that that Jordan had and the and the um, fundamentals that that Tamari has. I I'm, I'm really excited for both of those players um, and in their future. They're still young. They're going to learn, and um, I think this was a good good step for them. In the back. Uh, Kelly, normally you don't, you know, learn this fast, but Jordan goes from leading the team in turnovers and NTSU to having none uh, in this one. What was kind of the biggest difference you felt just from game one to game two for her? Well, I think I think you just said it. Game one is is not always easy for freshmen. Um, it's it's going to continue to you, you'll see her continue to improve. Uh, you know, I think. Um, I think she felt good. I think the spacing for her was good. I thought early on we were able to get stops early, which put her in the open court in transition. I think she's really good there. Um, obviously, Tamari was uh, on the receiving end on some of her assists early on, so the spacing was good. But I think I think Jordan's a playmaker, and sometimes playmakers will make some turnovers. Uh, we're very fortunate tonight she did. Steve and then Corey. They had 18 points in the first quarter and then 18 points the last three quarters total. What was the difference in you know, just intensity defensively that the last two and a half quarters really? Right. I, I thought our defensive intensity and effort for sure was much better the latter part of the game. Um, we we talked about it a little bit during during the uh, game during the timeouts in the first half. We we got after it at halftime. We we really had a discussion. We, we had, I told them that they weren't, um, weren't giving us what we needed defensively. I felt like, um, I felt like Central Arkansas was um, a little too comfortable in the first, in, in the first half. And we, we changed that. We changed the tone with our, our defensive pressure there in the second half. Corey, and then Phil. Kelly, I'm sorry, this is becoming a bit of a redundant question, but it's the first Official regular season game for you at home here. Was there are the jitters gone now with given the exhibition game? You know, what was the experience like for you? Oh yeah, no, I think I've done this long enough now that I don't get too uptight. I don't, you know, I'm pretty even keel. That was me as a player. That's me as a coach. Um, and and really, I was hoping I would kind of be able to take it all in a, a little bit more. I, I just go right to task mode. You know, what needs to be done. And, focused on the team and the game, but it's it will never get old walking out to Rocky Top, ever. I, I, I love coming out and seeing our fans. I love Thompson Bowling Arena, and I always will. Bill. Kelly, uh, can you give us an update on McCoy? You know, this, uh, she had a brace on her hand, and then second, um, another quick turn, uh, turn turnaround, getting on the road. At Notre Dame, uh, it's going to be probably an interesting environment for some of your players you know, playing in front of a crowd like that. Can you uh, talk about that too? Right. Uh, well, Jaden, right now, and she's going to be out for an undetermined amount of time. Um, we we may know more next week. Uh, I, I just don't know yet. Uh, she had a left hand injury. Um, in terms of our, our turnaround, one thing that I'm I'm actually happy about now. Our first game was a road trip, so this will not be our first road trip. I think that's that's a big deal. 
Uh, the environment and the atmosphere over in Johnson City when we played was really good. It was loud. Uh, I do not, I mean, I fully expect Notre Dame to, to be uh, an amazing place to play. I expect it to be loud and, and tough, but I do think uh, we have a, a little bit of that under our belt now with our first game. So that's a positive for us going over there. Hopefully it won't be a complete shock to our system. There's no doubt the game's going to be tough. There, there, there's no doubt. But, um, you know, I think it's what's good for us is we're going to know where we're at. We're going to be able to walk out of there and, and know exactly where we stand this early in the season. Well. With a different starting lineup today than you had in the ETSU game, and you swapped lineups a lot during the game. Were you happy with what you saw with your starters today, and is that kind of a projection of what we could see for the rest of the season? Uh, our starters were really good on, on our plus minus. They were um, individually they were good, but as a as a group they were really um, productive. And so I'm proud of how we started. Proud of that group when they went back in the game. We, you know, we we're probably going to play a lot of combinations, a lot of different groups. So um, them being able to function and be effective playing with a lot of different people, uh, that's a big deal. But in terms of just the starters, I was very pleased. Yeah, Coach, the bat. Coach, with tomorrow getting in foul trouble the last two games, the first two games, is that just a product of you know, the learning experience? Is that a product of her game style, or her position? How do you kind of see that? You know, I think a lot of times um, freshman post players uh, have to learn how to play at this level without fouling. I feel like all freshmen have to go through it, but really post players because we're asking them to be so physical, but oh yeah, don't foul. Um, so I think she'll she'll learn that. Um, we'll help her along the way. It's it's obviously a concern with our, with our entire team coming off that ETSU game where we were all in foul trouble. So um, we'll continue to work on that. Ben and then Gene. When you went back and you watched the ETSU game, what are some things that you identified that you all wanted to work on tonight, and do you feel like you succeeded in doing that? Well, the, the first thing for us was our transition defense. Uh, I, I felt like our transition defense was not good coming out of our ETSU game. We worked on it yesterday. We talked about it, watched it in the film. thought it was better, uh, much better tonight. Um, and then our awareness off the ball defensively, I thought needed to improve, and I thought that was better tonight as well. I thought we we handled the game a little bit better tonight, and, and part of that is is style of play, but part of it is okay. We're through game one. We're we're okay. We understand how to play. Um, so I think we we saw some progress in a couple of areas that I needed to see it in. You know, Kelly, in the, in the uh, first two games, uh, Jesse Rennie hasn't necessarily done much to like affect the stats, but she, you know, according to Plus Minus, she's been one of your best players. Like, what is it? What has it been about her? What does she bring to this team? Jesse is very smart, and Jesse is easy to play with. She she doesn't get it in the way. She makes good decisions. She will spread the defense out a little bit because people are going to honor her from the three point line. Um, you know, you, you saw her there late, get on the floor and grab a loose ball. She makes a lot of little plays that will go unnoticed. And um, it, it, is not, it is not gone unnoticed by the staff that her plus minus was the highest coming out of the ETSU game, and it's uh, still really good this game. So um, statistically, we may not have production, but she's helping her teammates be productive when she's on the court. Dan and then Kelly, going forward, do you want maybe a little bit more, uh, I don't know, from Davis and Green, like in terms of scoring and just maybe having a presence out there? I think D Davis went almost to the third quarter before she scored. Right. I, I thought Renaya took some good shots early and they, they didn't fall. And, um, you know, she's got to keep shooting. We've got to we've got to find her some good looks. And, and we'll, we'll be a little bit more creative finding those. I thought Zay was uh, – I thought she passed too much tonight. I thought she had some opportunities to get the ball all the way to the rim or get the ball in for some nice short jumpers, and, and she just kicked it out, found some teammates. Uh, I, I need her to be a, a little bit more aggressive looking for a shot. I know she still shot 10 times, but I, I thought she passed up two or three that she could have taken that would have been good for us. Maria, and then Steve. Coach, you won the board battle, but may have been a little closer than you wanted at 41-36. Was that them spreading the floor or missed box outs or what, what? What do you attribute that close number to? 
several things. I, I think we had some missed box outs. Um, we had some, you know, shots that bounced wide, maybe a little bit uh, out, of, out of our area. Um, but then also for us, we've got to do a better job of getting around box outs. We've got to do a better job of consistently going to the boards on the offensive end. Um, I'm just, that's just such a big number for me. I, I don't want to just dominate the boards, uh, or not just win, I want to dominate the boards, and, and I want to do it also in the offensive, if we've got the category. Just wondering, obviously you're, you're playing Notre Dame next week, but with the men's game, you had the d big double header in the opening night of the season, Kansas, Michigan State, Kentucky, and so forth. Would you like to have that type of thing at the start of the women's basketball season, have maybe y'all, Notre Dame, UConn, South, Car South Carolina, or Baylor, a big double header like that rotating on campuses? Is that something that, or do you kind of like it the way it is right now? I think that would be fun. Uh, now that I'm here and already passed game one, <laughs> maybe next year that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think anything to, to get people excited about the game. I think that, you know, those type of games are going to get people there. Uh, and playing in front of crowds, I think, is a big deal. Um, obviously, I love playing in Thompson Bowling Arena, but like I mentioned earlier, we had a great crowd over in Johnson City. So, um, you know, I. I wouldn't be opposed to that. I think that's uh, I think that could be something fun for women's basketball. Sure. Please don't be offended by what will sound like a frivolous question, no, but <laughs> how so much, much orange was in the wardrobe before, and how much of you have you bought since then, and how did you pick that tonight? Okay, so <clears throat> none. <laughs> Didn't have any orange. I've not coached an orange team in my career, so I had purple, red, and maroon, but no orange. Finding Tennessee orange in coaching attire is really difficult. This was as close as I could get to orange, and I walked in the shop, and I haven't had any time to go shopping, let's say that as well. But I was out and about, I walked in a shop, Something caught my eye. Walked through it. It's kind of orange color. I walk in and look at a piece and look at another piece. And the lady said, "You must really love orange." <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I proceeded to try on every piece of orange clothing that was in that store. Now, the lighting in here may think you might think it's red, but according to the lady I bought it from, she she convinced me that it was orange. So. Um, Still working to build that part of my wardrobe. Any other questions? Uh, Lewis in the back. Kelly, with how busy you are obviously on game day, I'm not sure if you saw, but Jackson was wearing your number of jersey, warming up the team and everything. Obviously, you know, this kid's got a bunch of personality, but does that, like, how, how does that hit you to see you know, your son doing something like that? So he's, he's done this. He's warmed up with, my, with our teams since about the age of three. So we, he's, he's done this. This is, he gets warm-ups. This is his thing. Um, and we got him a jersey uh, at, at Missouri State. He had a Bears jersey. It was number 14 because that's what mom wore. I like that. Um, I have to sneak out in the tunnel to watch him warm up before the game. There's something a little bit different about my son wearing 14 on our court. It's kind of cool. Um, so. I have to sneak out there just a little bit to, to watch him because it's special to be able to share what we're doing with our children, John and I, with, with both Jackson and Kylie. It's it's a it's an unbelievable place to be, and I'm I'm so happy that they get to grow up in it. Seth, in the back, Coach. Maybe not talking about right away with Notre Dame and some of these Power Five games coming up, but when you get into conference play, do you expect maybe Tamari and Jordan to be as dominant as they've been the last? Couple games. Oh well, I think we, I think we still, um, they still have growth for sure. And I think one of the biggest things that freshmen have to learn is how to play physical and how to handle the physicality. And it is a long season of physical physicality, especially in the SEC. So, you know that it's going to be important that they, we take care of them and take care of their bodies. They're playing with confidence by the time we get to SEC play. Um, I think they can be very productive. For sure. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you.